Yo, what is good, Price Fam? It's been a while since you heard and seen my face, you know what I'm saying? Um, this is kind of puffy a little bit. You know, a little, little, little chubby chubby. Nah, I'm not getting chubby. Um, anyways, yeah, sorry guys, I've been so busy. Um, been dealing with work and school. Uh, so, it's been kind of stressful. And on top of that, you guessed it, you probably wouldn't guess, but I slipped and fell at work and I sprained my wrist really bad. I bent my wrist down that way and it hurts pretty bad. So just doing that, this finger right here, my pointer finger, it hurts like when I move it like that. Then it sends a shot of pain right here down my, down my hand and then it hurts right here. So I told my parents and they said they would give me some nonsense shoes, but they didn't. So I had to ask my mom and she said she would get them. Now, um, I don't live with both of my parents, but I only live with one. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't wanna keep I don't wanna go deep into it, so uh, but my mother said she would give me some and said it would be sent today and oh, oh there they go. So I'm assuming these are the shoes that she's sitting in. And um, yeah, this is an unboxing video. Um, I don't know about the beginning of it, if that's what people talk about an unboxing, but just explaining why I needed them and how I got need them and how I got them. So I'm gonna show you guys on uh, what they look like and whatnot. I decided to do an unboxing video today. I was really planning on to I was just planning on open them and see what's going on but you know seeing this property so I'm not gonna show you well this is just you know just your regular old box <sighs> can't show you all the legal information you know my address and all that so you know just regular old box so alright let's open this up got a pocket knife because I don't have a box opener, so. I actually got it from my grandma. She gave me the pocket knife, but yeah. That's not really important. What's important is the shoes. So, do it on both sides. And, voila. Boom. All right. Don't need that anymore, I don't think. And, so we working with here. Alright, so it's a box in itself and another box. So this is that. So this box right there. So looks like she got me some uh, tennis shoes. I don't know what kind of tennis shoes they are, but they're tennis shoes. Um, looks good enough for me. Uh, shoe www or www.shoesforcruise.com that's interesting. Never heard of this company before. I normally get stuff like uh, from the mall. So like I have my pair of Kyries, and then I have a pair of LeBrons, and then I have a pair of Felis, and a pair of Converse, and a pair of Nike Slides. But I have never heard of shoes for shoes. So this is interesting. Um, let's see what they look like on the inside. So like I said guys, I hurt my wrist pretty bad, so if I'm trying, when I open stuff, it's kind of hard a little bit still, because you know, I have a sprained wrist, so it's kind of hard to open stuff. Okay, here we go. Now now they're open. Um, okay. The new, and when, you know, if you guys have ever opened up stuff, like shoes, like you know that smell, like a new fresh smell of a shoe. And that's what I just got hit with a whiff of that. Just well, went a gush of wind. Just woo, and just I felt it. And you know what's crazy, guys? It's snowing outside. It's been snowing for at least almost a whole hour now. It literally just started. Like there was literally a big blizzard outside, a huge blizzard, and it's still snowing. It's insane. But anyways, back to the unboxing at hand. 
look at the shoe. Ooh. So I've never heard of this shoe company before, but this shoe feels amazing. Like the texture of the front, it feels more of like um kind of like a leather of a belt. That's what it kind of feels like. And then right here, it's like soft goods right there. So it says Keep it clean. Um, if you guys want to read that, you can. You can pause the video and read that. Uh, I should give you enough time. And um, so it says, move the grid back and forth, clean with the groove. So I'm assuming this is what it's talking about. Keeping it clean with this. Oh, wait a minute. If I'm looking at this, would it mean like moving between these? I mean, I will only be using them at work, so I don't know. And these feel like they have some good grip. Like the bottom of these feel really good. They feel plasticky, but also feels really good. They feel nice. Um, this it says measure up, insert, measuring tab um, into the middle of the shoe heel. If the word worn is completely visible. It is time to replace. Oh, so what it's telling me is, is that once it says worn, I guess they're no good anymore. But I guess that's on any shoe, right? Uh, I don't want to ruin it. So I'm just going to cut it off. I don't want to ruin my new shoes that I just got, so do that. Um, I don't know if I'll be using this little di uh, thing here, doohickey here. I don't know, doohickey. I don't know if I'm going to be using that, um, but these feel nice. I'm going to take the stuffing out of it. Let's use my right hand, not my left hand. So on the inside, they don't... You know, feel like uh, pillows, but you know, it gets the job done. Uh, it's blue, which is my favorite color. Um, that's about it for that. Um, it looks pretty good to me. Uh, let's see what the other two looks like. It probably looks the same. So, yeah, um, they're the same, they look good. Um, I would put them on, but you know, I don't want to. Well, actually, you know what? I should put them on to show you guys. But I'm pretty sure you guys would know what it looks like if I put it on my feet. You know? I did show you guys when I was doing, like, my headphones. I did show you what it looked like when I was wearing them. And then I did show you um, what it looked like when I was playing with the Play Arts Kai figure. Um, speaking of figures, so... <laughs> My, my dad last night told me not to spend all my money, right? So, I'm not going to spend all my money, okay? Um, but, there is an, there is a couple of things I wanted to get. So, it was either me getting clothes, which is one. Or two, me getting a, a, Hot, Toys action, a Hot Toys figure. So, I'm thinking about getting Hot Toys, but I don't know which one to get. So, there's not very many for Spider-Man. I'm going to go look at Big Bag Toy Store and see if there's anything on there. And if there is, I'm going to get one of those off of there. But, I don't have the money to do that. Oh, well, I do actually have the money to do that. I just need to get my money, which I'm hoping I can get it today, maybe once the snow starts, you know, dialing down. It's starting to dial down a little bit. It was blowing really bad earlier, but, you know. So, I think I'm going to try to do that. I'm going to wear my new shoes at work. Um, if, for those of you who don't know where I work, um, I work at, you know, the most iconic place ever. The Golden Arches with the best fries somewhat good of a burger McDonald's so that's where I slipped and fell at but the important thing is, is now I have shoes now granted 
there's probably still gonna be a risk that I'll fall and hurt myself. I've been told that, you know, not always not slip shoes will stop that, but at least it'll give me more leverage. So the shoes I was using going to work instead of my Converse was my Felize. Those are some really good shoes. I actually need to clean those and keep them in good condition. But you see these, these are work shoes. I can wear this to work and to be honest, I can wear this besides work. I could wear these, you know, going outside. I could wear these going to school. Um, I mean, I could wear them to work and going to school. I mean, I can wear these anywhere, to be honest. So that means I just got another pair of shoes, but those are really just good for work. Not really, you know, walking around and all that. Maybe when it's snowing outside and has ice, then I can use these. But I'm not gonna use them, you know, just to, you know, play around in or, you know, go to school. Cause school, the floors aren't slippery. Like they are, like outside or at work. Cause, excuse me. Cause for those of you who work in fast food or who work, yeah, like in a fast food or a restaurant, restaurant, like Applebee's or Cheddar's, which those two are my favorite. But, you know, like restaurants like those, there's a lot of oil spills, there's a lot of wet floors people not telling you that they're mopping and then you slip and fall like what happened to me um but i'm always you know now i'm gonna be extra extra careful i don't care if i have to walk slow now i should have been walking slow which i was but you know i still ended up falling but and just to let you guys know my shoe size is not you know regular shoe size is 16 that's because well that's also my age that's funny um that's because i'm really tall so for those of you who don't know i'm six 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 seven maybe now i'm re i'm taller than all of everybody in my family i'm taller than everybody like i'm taller than my grandpa and he's six three i'm six six so taller than him taller than my dad taller than my mom taller than my aunt i just i just named out four people who are tall in this family well two of them are separate but you know you get the point i'm taller than everybody in my family so all four of them are shorter than me i think maybe my grandpa is like you know like uh one or two inches shorter than me my dad is like four or three three or four three or four my mom two and then my aunt is about one or two so i'm telling that in everybody that's why i have to have a big shoe so I, I think it was i think Shaq has a big foot and he wears i think a size 32 i don't know where you buy a size 32 that's that's insane to me My shoes are not cheap either, I, I realize that, and if I wanted, you know, Jordans, I have to get those custom, custom made, and then I know those aren't going to be cheap. I do want a pair of Jordans, but if I want a pair of Jordans, I'm going to have to come out of my pocket. See, I, I don't like, you know, spending money coming out of my pocket for shoes, but I might have to, and I might have to do that with clothes, so... If I end up getting clothes, that would be my next video or getting or getting the hot toys. So I'm gonna keep watching more videos on stuff that I think I might want to get for like uh, the collectors items for like uh, like maybe Mafex or Hot Toys or Bandai. Um, you know, you guys should just let me know what I should get for you know action figure wise because I, I don't. I gave away all my toys I had when I was younger playing with them and then they were just sitting in my, underneath my desk and it was just sitting there. So you guys let me know. Oh wait, you guys can't even type in the comments because I'm going to label this as for kids. No, I'm not going to label this as just for kids. Um, well maybe I should. I think I will. Um, so probably the next unboxing video will probably be more than likely be actual bigger one i'll probably just get the clothes on, on separately on my own time but for the action figures that would be for that purpose of that video so that might be a couple weeks you guys might see me in the next couple weeks um, 
I'm gonna be working really hard on trying to get some more money to do that. So hopefully I can get it by early March. That's when I'll probably do my next video, more than likely. Cause I'm cracking down on my last bit of my uh, first nine weeks of school, going to work. I've gotten what two paychecks now this year. I'm feeling pretty good. This year is turning out really well for me. I started drawing my dreams. So uh, I'm doing a lot of stuff, guys. Uh, like off camera, I'm doing a lot of stuff that not a lot of people are doing. Draw my dreams. Um, taught, you know, going to a therapist. I do have a therapist because, you know, I'm dealing with a lot of stuff. job, finally got a job, uh, making money, uh, you know, doing little things, you know, doing the little stuff, the little stuff always makes a big difference, you know, doing the little stuff, like getting a job, now I can make money, and now I can buy the stuff I want to need, uh, drawing my dreams, and, you know, drawing more stuff, that's how I make, also I can make more money, or I can keep it, you know, you know, all that good little stuff, you know what I'm saying, so, if I keep that up, <coughs> excuse me, if I keep that up, I'll be doing pretty good, you know, this, the rest of this year, you know, this year is going by fast a little bit, it was just January, mind you, it is February, bro, it's literally almost March, in the next, what, two, three weeks, in a couple days, what? Bro, 2021 is going by so fast, but so much good stuff is happening in 2021. So, I'm going to leave you guys on that note. Um, if you guys like this, um, like and sub and share this video. Um, for all the kids who are watching this, I'm just, you know, pointing out things that you might have to do when you grow up, you know. A lot of things might have to happen. So I, I bought work shoes for work. Um, you guys will have to work one day, and stuff like this might happen. But yeah, this that's why I'm glad I got these shoes, and I appreciate my mom doing that. I always love when she does stuff like this. It, she doesn't have to. That's the thing. She doesn't have to. But it's the little things that count. I don't think this is gonna be listed for just for kids because you know I'm pinning some adult some teenager things in here so I won't list this as just for kids but the other two are just for kids so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this like comment share and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next video peace